We should all take turns this this year intro. <laughs> there Some rigid uh, floodlights that we're putting into the rear bumper. Uh, did I say they're floodlights? I think I said they're floodlights. Mm -hmm. There are different uh, patterns that you can get. It's listed on the box. You get diffuse lights, you can get floodlights, they have driving lights, spotlights, hyper spot. They have quite a few different options. I just got the flood um, just to be able to put some light behind the Jeep. Only reason I'm really doing it is because there are holes in the bumper for lights. So I figured I might as well have some in there. Uh, this is the Poison Spider Bruiser JK bumper. It's available for JL, JT as well. But we don't like anybody that drives JL. But yeah, we don't we don't hang out with anybody that drives those bougie Jeeps. I call it, well, a gift. Give me that. Stand this thing up. No. Nope. We're not doing that. That's cheating. What the hell are you doing? Put it back. Wait, I need to see it though. Uh -oh. <laughs> Keeping it towards the rear gives it more room because as it slides towards the actual like end of the bumper, the bolt just gets closer and closer because it's slanted. Can you pull on that power cord? Yeah. Yeah, just, no, no, like pull it up. There you go. Yeah, just like that. And so, that one didn't slide. Because when you take weight off, it lets me run it down. And then what we'll do is we'll just it out. We'll line it down, yep. It's still going to move a little bit when we tighten it down. Yeah. But I think we'll be able to really kind of force it in. You know, we'll still be able to jiggle the alignment and stuff before we tighten it down. I can't even get in there. That's why I tightened down my mind before I put it in there. That's why I told you. <laughs> I said once it's in there, we're not going to be able to get to this. Well, I'll just, I want, just so it's on film, Chris did the left light. Josh <laughs> did the right light. So when you get a saggy ball right light in about a year, we'll know who did that one. Oh, Daddy guessed right. That's what I'm about. Right. Here's what we'll do. We do need to stand it up flush, though. Like either stand it up vertically or I'll sit it in my lap or something so you can see the lights and see if they're where you want. Because once we get on this, it's... Oh, I know. So I don't want to tighten it without us knowing. I would just it... try to get it as flush to the front as you can. Well, no, it'll go beyond the front. They'll, they'll protrude if we want them to, if you let them. So what I'm saying is like, see, this one's all cockeyed. Yeah. But like depth wise, are you okay with that? Do you want it further back? Like... The nature of it is i feel like the problem that we're at right now is that we need to tilt the light down yeah and those little brackets are tight yeah 
So I think we're gonna have to pull those out and then point the lights down before we put them on. Well, if you have them here, I mean, this is like perfect driver face yeah. angle. What we should do is get somebody in a Prius behind <laughs> you and line yeah. it up to make sure it goes directly <laughs> in your face. So what is going to suck is, you know what? Why aren't we doing this on like a workbench? Yeah, it'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Because it'd be flat and it'd be up high. Because that's going to be about as far back as we can get. It can come forward, but I'm assuming you don't want them out. No, I just want them flush. Are you sure? Because it, you know, this is better heating and cooling. So it looks like camera. You don't want to melt it, right? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to hold it? See, as I tighten it, it's pushing it out. That doesn't make any sense. Pushing what out? Pushing the light out. The top or the bottom? The, the bottom top. Here, let me loosen up these. Let's it's worry about the... It needs to... Yeah, hold on. We'll do, we'll do the ups and the uppy downies. Well, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you right now, I'm not trying to light the, the inside. <laughs> but it'll this way it'll light up the crazy octopus or whatever the thing is. So now we got enough slack to where the adjustments that we can do are like for depth. We'll worry about depth next. What I'm worried about is this. So where is the up down? Yeah, it needs to come down like that. Well, that, that's good? Sure. I feel like it doesn't matter what you do, once you go to tighten it, it's going to move. So you might as well do a little bit of tightening and then adjust and do a little bit of tightening and then that's adjust. It, that's tightened. So did it move in the in this world? It didn't move, right? No, that's good right there. Okay. Now I'm going to put the fajitas on it. Now for the record, Chris will stand behind doing both left and right side. <laughs> Let's get serious about the depth. It's like yeah, it's... twisted like crazy. Like it's not sitting flush in there at all. It's like this. Mm-hmm. Let's see it. You're totally messed up. I don't think that's from the side, is it? I think it is. I think this side red rose when I tightened it. You, <laughs> you get over in front of me. What do you think is going to happen? I don't want to be in the swag <laughs> zone of SeaWorld. So you better keep that. Chris is down like this. All right, no, let's go, bud. No. <laughs> you better keep Shamu in the yeah. tank. You know what I'm talking about. All right, is that tickle. better? In terms of like the squareness? Pull it this way. Very like square. some kind of wizard. With a, <laughs> with a, with a wand. Wand. <laughs> it's the lights twisted. Like the whole thing is twisted. It is. What? It's what fully doing? torqued. See? Yeah. See what I'm saying? But if I do that, does that square it up? Yeah, it's just not far enough back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it down as I tighten this. The next day. Okay, so now we're going to get the lights wired up, the uh, pods that we put in the rear bumper. They are the Rigid D-Series Pro uh, floodlights. They are very similar uh, to the pod lights that we have on the front. These are the uh, Side Shooter Pro, the D-Series DSS or something. I can't remember exactly what they are, but we installed these back a year ago or so. Uh, since we have the bumper with the rear pods available, then I went ahead and got some of the same Rigid lights to go in it. Um, we are going to be wiring up to the switch the same way that we did our front pod lights. So we're not going to use the majority of the wiring that came with these lights. Um, these are the plugs that actually go into the lights themselves. And you can tell that there are two of them. And on the harness that they send with it, they go down to just the single wire here. Which I'm going to tie into the wire that I'm going to snake through up to the switch. 
all of this we're not going to have to use it has the inline fuse that's built into it it has the um, power and ground it has this end which will go to the switch that comes with this i think i already took the switch out and used it for something else honestly um maybe i used it for the underhood lights i don't know we'll show you guys out too um but all of this basically not going to be used so we're just going to toss it to the side there'll be some extra wire that we can use for something else in the future right, so now i'm just going to plug these back in i'm not running them anywhere specific yet i'm just getting these plugged in so that i can figure out where i'm going to route all the wiring but they basically just go in until they click um you can see it's got a little pushes down right there if you wanted to undo it just like that so when you push in you can hear it click if you're wondering how we ran this wire because we're going to feed it to the front where the switch is so it's going to go along there and go all the way up to the front so we if you look under here so here's the back of the bumper we just installed we fed it up through there and then Grab the wire here. We're running it along through here. That way it'll go up to the switch along this route here and it'll avoid possibly melting up against there because it's up and out of the way. So now that we've got the plugs done in the back, um, we're gonna feed the wire through that we're actually gonna connect from those to the switch. All I've done is we've got some wire that I bought and then the uh, expandable wire loom that can go on it. And I've got it electrical taped on here, but basically I'm gonna run it from the engine bay and I'm gonna route it down all the way through the back until I get to the point to where I connect this. Then I'll terminate this end and connect it up to the switch box. That way we can test these things out. With some little fingers and a little poking and prodding, we were, oop, we were able to get it up in there run it through out to here so that way it's protected and then we're going to connect it and just to give you a bigger picture sort of spot we're over here on driver side this is the rear without the fenders those are going to need to be tweaked and then running it there to where the bumper's at this right there that way it's not up against the opening as much and rubbing up against it and possibly cutting through all right so we've snaked the wire and attached it all underneath the jeep we basically ran along the frame rail uh, where david from outrageous lighting had run the rock light uh, loom. I just zip tied it onto that basically from all the way in the back up here to the front. We've now got it to where we're up here at the switch. Uh, I came up through the driver's side wheel well. I came behind the little whatever this bracket thing is. I have no idea. It was a fight to be able to fish it up through there. But now we're going to take it. We're going to bring it over into the switch and we are going to be attaching it to um switch number five which is right here so let me loosen these a little bit here so pretty self-explanatory whenever you're wiring stuff up you always want to make sure you match up your positive and your negative so we've got black on this side going to the negative of the switch here and then we've got the positive going here if i can get it in there all right so we've got those in there so you have to make sure whenever you run them to the switch that you run up through <laughs> here and then 
go to where you need to go to. Because otherwise, whenever you go to put the cover back on, the cover is going to not fit because your wire's in the way.